who said liquid gloss was just for iPhones? Well, thanks to the power of Android customization, I bring you liquid gloss on Android. Well, more like Android themed to look like liquid gloss. That's the app icons and the home screen widgets as well. And all you're going to need are a couple different apps. Now, unlike the rest of the home screen setups on the channel, this one, we're going to blaze through it. So keep up. Oh yeah, and for those of you wondering, these live wallpapers come from my own Epic Live Wallpapers Arise, which houses all of my custom live wallpaper creations. So consider supporting not only the channel, future app updates, but also gaining lifetime access to the full collection. Now coming back to Liquid Gloss, this setup is going to be perfect for those of you who just want to show off your awesome live or still wallpapers. Because we spend so much time looking for them, why not show them off with some Liquid Gloss. So for this sub, as a basis, we're going to need Nova Launcher, the number one customizing home screen launcher, AWGT, of course, the widgets, and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's definitely going to be a couple other apps, but we'll cover them as we go along. Now, first things first, let's start off with the home screen app icons. For this, you can head over to the Play Store and simply search Liquid Gloss for a couple different options, free and paid. But for myself, I use some straight from Icon Pack Studios, the number one place for all things custom icons. Yeah, this is sounding a lot like an advert, but continuing on, yeah, within the app itself, there's a ton of app icon packs. So you can either browse around or, like me, just search Liquid Gloss. And there's a couple different options available here. And the one that I went with was Liquid Gloss by Pin. But of course, feel free to grab one which better stands out on your backdrop. Now just hit download, select it again, hit apply, and then wait for it to finish creating the custom APKs for the app icons. Install that, and then that's it. Now of course, if you're running the latest version of Android, you're probably going to see this pop up. It's just for any apps that you install, not from the Play Store, but just expand the more details, and then install. So now that we have the app icons installed, we have to set it using our custom launcher. In this case, I'm using Nova Launcher. So just head over to Nova's look and feel section, you'll find that under icons, the new icon pack that was just previously installed. And there you go, app icons done. Now as for the home screen widgets. This comes from another app. Head back over to the Play Store and search up Glass Widgets. And you should see this one right here. Yes, I know it's a paid app, but hopefully by the time you guys see this video, there'll be free alternative versions that you can use. But yeah, after you got it installed on your phone, because it is a KWGT pack, next up, we want to load a blank KWGT placeholder to our home screens. Increase its size, tap on it, and then find your install packs, select the glass widget, and there you go. You have a whole array of liquid gloss themed home screen widgets. Now for this sub, I'm using two separate widgets. First one giving you all of those quick access controls over the media player, your Wi-Fi and so forth is widget 31 and indicating your date, time and local weather is widget 41. So just simply load them in and you're set. Well, kind of. All of those widget buttons are kind of messed up. Wi-Fi opens Facebook, Bluetooth, WhatsApp, a real mess. So next, we're going to fix these ourselves, either swapping out the app icons to match the apps that are actually opening, or open up the screens the icons were meant to show. This is where it gets a bit more intense. Now of course, not all of you guys have used KWGT before, so if you haven't, make sure you check out my videos linked in the top right of the screen for the bare basics that you need to know. But as for the rest of you, I'm going to show you how you can program each one of these buttons so they work customized to your phones. And yeah, it's not going to be perfect for all of your phones, but there's a couple different options that you can implement in order to at least get that unique gloss look with some functionality. Now within KWGT, using the tick boxes on the right hand side, you can see exactly what items on the list refers to what elements on screen. So here, we're going to jump through the overlay group, another overlay group again for some reason, and then let's jump into the stacked group item, the second item on the list. 
Here, you'll notice there's three overlay groups. And as you tick through, different parts of the widget will be highlighted. So, the main one we want to focus on here is the top overlay group. Here, you've got the shape items on the top, and then you have the actual elements on the second stack group. So head into that. Now here, you will have the left group as well as the right. So, let's keep it simple. All of them work almost exactly the same. Okay, so let's head into that top stack group. Now here, it will be separated between the top two and the bottom two. So let's go into the top two. Now we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Tap on Wi-Fi. So now that we're finally here, the next steps are what you want to repeat for all of the other buttons within the widget itself. Head over to the touch tab and you should see a single click action to launch app. But don't worry if you don't, you can always use the plus button in the top right of the screen to add this in. So tap on that and then here is where we can customize it. And for some reason, this Wi-Fi button is set up currently to launch Facebook. So we want to change this to not launching an app. I mean, you could launch an app if you want, it's totally up to you, but yeah, we want the Wi-Fi. So we're going to change that from launch app to launch activity. Now tap on activity to access this list of full apps. Okay. Now here we want to find settings. That'd be your phone settings. And there's 476 apparently on my phone. Here you can access a couple of your phone toggle screens these services it's a mixture of stuff so here let's try something here let's try wireless and networks that let's change make sure you hit save now heading back to the home screen let's see what it does apparently it does nothing and some of these settings will do nothing but some other ones like here opens up the entire network screen so yeah, you're going to have to play around with it really to see what works for you. I did say it will get a bit tricky, right? Or if you just want to simply load in apps, head back to launch your app, like the app you want to launch, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there's of course the app icons, which you can also change if you wanted. For example, within this Wi-Fi group, just click on the Wi-Fi icon. icon and then that's it, just swap it out with another app icon instead. It is fully customizable, but tricky and time consuming, so there's that. 